Lots of people have asked me about how we get a transparent menu at the top of a full width header section. This requires the use of the uh, theme builder to build the header and I'm going to run through all the stages to make this complete header from scratch. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do to create our front page is we're going to add a new page. We're going to give that a title of home and we're going to click on the use Divi Builder button, which will take us into the builder. There are three options here. The one we want is build from scratch, so we're going to click on start building. Now by default, when you start a new page, Divi will already give you a section. Now we're not going to use that section because we want to add a full width section. So we just need to choose the blue plus at the bottom of the section and from the insert section menu, choose the purple full width menu and choose a full width header. Once we've done that, we can save that. We can go to the initial section and we can delete it. And that will then set our page up with the full width header at the top. Next thing we need to do is style this header. So if we go into the module settings, I'd like another button here. So I'm going to type in, click here. As soon as you type text in, the button will appear. I'm then going to go to the design tab, the layout option. I'm going to center the text and buttons, and I'm going to make this full screen. Going back to the content tab, I can now change the background. I'm going to delete the solid color. I'm going to go to the image tab, and I'm going to add my background image to the page. Okay, having done all of that, we're now going to style this content in the middle. So the first thing we're going to look at is the title. I'm going to make that all uppercase. I'm going to give it a weight of bold, and I'm going to increase the size until it just fits inside these wooden piles. Okay, that's looking good. Next thing we're going to do is work on the body text. I'm going to increase the weight of that as well to semi-bold. I'm going to increase the size of that as well, I think to 20 point, and I'm going to space it a little bit more by adding a little bit of body line height in here so that things look a bit better. Okay, that's fantastic. Also, I want this width of this to sit inside the wooden piles to make the design look better. So I'm going to go to sizing and I'm going to reduce the content width until that just sits nicely inside here. Fantastic. Okay, now we're going to style these buttons. So I'm going to come to the first button. I'm going to choose use custom styles and I'm going to give the button a background FF6600, which is a bright orange. I'm then going to go down to the font style. I'm going to choose bold and I'm going to choose uppercase and I'm going to give it two points, two pixels rather, of letter spacing. OK, that's fantastic. Now we're going to go to the second button and we're going to do exactly the same thing. So I don't need to choose the colour again because if we go to recent, I can choose the same colour. I can then come down to the font weight. Again, make this bold, make this uppercase and add my two pixels of letter spacing. I'd like this font to be a bit more readable over the background. In order to do that, I'm going to put a, an overlay over the background. So I'm going to go to the Design tab. I'm going to click on Overlay, make it black, and then go in to adjust the colour. And I'm going to reduce the transparency until I can still see the image, but also the text is readable. So that looks fantastic. So I'm happy with that. And that's the end of creating the page. Now we need to save or rather publish the page. And then we can start looking at how we can make this header sit on top of the background. So to do this, we exit the Visual Builder. We head over to the dashboard. Before we go into the Divi Builder, I'm going to assign the page that we've just created to be our home page. And you'll see why in a moment. So I'm going to go into Settings, Reading. I'm going to set your home page displays a static page and the page we want to display is the page we've just created. And then I'm going to click on Save Changes. Now we can go to Divi and the Theme Builder. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a new template. So click on Add Template. And that template we want to be for the home page. If you choose this home page option here, it will apply to whatever page is set to home page in the settings. And we've just set our new page to be that page. 
So when we click on home page here and create template, that will achieve what we need to do. We then add custom header and we're going to build that custom header from scratch. From here, we can click on start building and we want two columns in our header row. And the first of those columns, well, actually, I'm not going to do that. First thing I'm going to do so we can see what we're working on, because everything we're going to be creating is white so that it sits on the uh, image background. I'm going to pop into the section and I'm going to add a light gray background so that we can see what we're doing. That will become clear later. So first column, we're going to add an image and the image we're going to add is our logo and we're going to choose the white version of our logo. In the second column, we're going to add a menu module and in that menu module, we need to go into the background and set this to be transparent. We can then go to the menu text. We want this to stand out more, so I'm going to make this white going to make this uppercase and I'm going to make it bold. We could also do with the font size being a little larger, so I'm going to lift this up to 20 point. Now this isn't lined up at the moment, so we need to go to the spacing setting and we need to add some padding to the top to bring this down so that it lines up with our logo. Very slightly less. 14, that's looking good. And we also want the alignment of that text to be right justified. So if we come down here, we can see right justified. And that is looking exactly like we want it to look. So before we leave this module, there's two more steps. One is to remove all of the space because we want this to sit nicely at the top of our site. The next thing is we need to go through each module in turn. So I'm going to start with the row and we need to ensure that the background setting is set to transparent. So row first, followed by the image module, transparent. We already did that module. And finally, we're going to set the background of the section to transparent, which will actually remove it. So there we go. The final thing that we need to do is head into the section setting, the advanced tab, position, and we need to set this to absolute. This is the thing that is going to make our header sit on top of the image. So once we've done that and chosen save, we can then save our header and we can exit the builder. All changes saved, click on training, visit the site, and we've achieved what we wanted to achieve.